Hey, hey. Real hot. Yeah, y'all, y'all came out to our place on Black Mountain Road Good. last year. Helped us out. So right now they're pulling. pulling the pipe out of this well. We figured it's about 225 feet long under this big giant reel here. And uh, we're just gonna reel it up like you would on a big fishing reel. And they have it, a uh, clever little roller here that's coming right on the edge of the well. It just sits on there and lets them roll it. Roll up to there. So, nice to have the right equipment. What we think, we're pretty sure happened was last night, lightning came in. Uh, we had some pretty close strikes. It never shut down the electricity, but it uh, definitely, there was an impact on our water supply. And of course, wells run off electricity. And it could be that Lightning somehow rushed down. We don't know where. We hadn't found any near strikes here, but somehow lightning got down in there and fried the pump. So that's why we called our gentleman here from Raymond Brown, and they had helped us out before. It's always good to stick with folks that you know and that helped you in the past. The good news, the good news is the pump is has a five-year guarantee and it was installed about this time of the year in 2018 so we'll get yeah it's a Grundfos, Grundfos, it's a German rate and has a one horsepower so uh, we'll get a replacement but of course the labor is not free <laughs> they don't we'll get charged for the labor the kinds of things these guys are doing but yeah, it's going to be about 350 bucks. Yeah. Oh. So that's the pump. Does that look about uh, 245? <laughs> Not much to it, is it? Yeah. Oh. There's the pump. They tested the electricity all the way up to the wellhead, and it was good. So that, that helped them determine that it was the pump itself that had been fried. And they indicated that lightning can hit water in the ground and come through and fry it. About how long are you guys seeing these pumps last, typically? It just depends. I mean, if they don't get hit by lightning, they're like, are like they're good for 20 years, or? Probably. Yeah. I'd say. Okay. The only thing that sucks about these pumps is they're more, they're more uh, electric, like components inside of them in the old pump. Yeah. Uh, so the near pumps may not last as long because of the electric circuitry kind of like with many appliances and such I was telling these guys that uh, previously when we had it done the plumber was a good guy but he was not um, he didn't do a lot of wells as many wells and he did not have this kind of equipment this is a pretty fancy uh, 
rig here makes a tremendous difference for these guys because the former plumber had to pull it all out by hand, all this 225 feet approximately of um, pipes. This is where they're taking apart the old pump, cleaning out the attachment there, taking Teflon off the threads, adding more on, putting in a new pump, and everybody's working together really well, tightening it up, making sure it's nice and tight. That's a brand new one horsepower Grunfoss pump there. So they're making sure they're taping up the just like it was before, making sure it's all hooked up to the wiring. And everything looks really good. Give it one last touch with the torch. And we are good to go. And of course our dog is supervising. Zeus, out to check out what's going on. Yay! He's a bit spooked, but curious. Okay, they replaced the pump. We have a new pump now, and it is going into the ground, into the pipes. Nice shiny new pump. This is the last of the pipe going back into the well housing. So now we've reached the top part of the well assembly and it's basically a cap where the pipe below feeds through up above along with the, the water pipe that's coming up. There's also electrical cable that's coming up through there and now it's basically a matter of reattaching the line to the pipe coming out of the well and it takes a little bit of doing a little bit of hammering a little bit of pounding just put on a hose clamp now he's going to connect the electrical connections and they'll run a little test and then they'll send me off to check it out so See both the um, the solenoid and the breaker box. Or? I just like to see the gauge. Okay, well, come on, I'll show you where that is. So now we're putting the protective concrete casing that protects the actual wellhead coming up, helps protect it from the elements, and they're working it down in there. You see, there's a lid off there to the right, pretty heavy duty lid. We pack it with insulation and uh, keeps it from freezing. And it's a good thing to have one of these because it definitely does in, in our area protect from freezing and keeps animals out and whatnot. So they're getting it all set in place, getting it all as it was back together. And these guys do good work, they really do. So they're taking good care with it and as we approach and look down we'll see we have a brand new system down we can't see it but it's there and we have water which is fantastic thank you Raven Brown so thanks very much for watching the final total on replacing our pump was $350 thanks to the five-year warranty on the original pump.